Eddie, All right, here's, quiet here's down. a uh, EA executive. What has he got? EA was yesterday. Get out. Well, I guess uh, if people still own an original Xbox, they don't have a use for it anymore. Yeah, but I can guarantee oh. I'm still not getting rid of my regular Xbox. Yeah, I have mine downstairs. <laughs> mine stopped working, sadly. Aw, rip. The only thing I had to deal with is the tray, is the tray, is a disc tray acting up. Other than that, the thing works just fine. Works perfectly, actually. Amazing concepts become yeah. possible. The, the I miss how to work. Yeah. Fuck. So here we are, and we are so excited to share this with all of you. On behalf of the team at Bioware, let's see what this game looks like. <gasps> share it with us. Already. Yes. Show me Anthem. Holy shit. Holy Get shit. Holy boy. shit. Bioware I want to see Anthem. Anthem. Get to the point, yes! asshole. Yes. Yes! Yes! Hi, I'm John Warner, game director for Anthem. Here is the world premiere of Anthem's gameplay. Yes! Hey. Alright, what is this? I'm really looking forward to this. Holy shit balls. All right, it's some first person. X, uh, S feel, first dude. person. Freelancer. Fraxling. Listen. Big trouble. Big trouble. What did you do? Damn, those face it's animations. I hired some people. They weren't freelancers. I, I know. They said they could handle it, and the price was right. I I thought Gosh, these graphics, you though. Mean? You're right. Mm. It was still they mm. 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 But They're still out. Somewhere. Just hate to say I'm off. Fuck the trailer. Anything you need. Damn. This is in gameplay. In the world of Anthem, you and your friends are freelancers. The heroes who leave the safety of the walls of Fort Tarsus to explore the unknown. Hell or high water. Let's join two players as they head out on an expedition. You ready to go? Just some supplies. Just about ready. What are you going to use today? I decided to go with the Colossus. I'm going to use my Ranger. Try out some new upgrades. Oh, shit. Face reveal! Every player will own an <laughs> Face array reveal. of exosuits we call javelins. These okay, that looks just like Destiny right there. Okay. Yeah, it does. Plus a bit of Halo. <laughs> How you want. That that literally looks like the landscape for the European safe zone for Destiny 2. Yeah. Nice, you've got a mortar equipped. Yeah, I got it on the weekend. Oh, hi. <laughs> what? Jetpack? Oh. What? Jet what the fuck? What is happening? This is a Holy fucking shit! What the fuck are those? Whoa! Unique play style. The Ranger is balanced. Okay. While the All right. Is a tanking powerhouse. Holy shit! Okay. What is going on? Epicness, that's what's going on. The world of Anthem is hostile, and threats can come from any Nice, you can use a jet pack. you can use a jet boost for a sprint. Alright, let's see some combat. Damn. Yeah, he seems like a problem. Alright. Woo! Oh shit. That guy got crushed. Whoa! What is happening? Explosions! Michael Bay! Holy shit! Oh, 
Damn, son. Have you been in there yet? I haven't. Combat kind of reminds me of Mass Effect Andromeda. You could use the XP. Really? Which is pretty good. Looks like it. I can already say this. I'm going to have so. So much fucking fun with those jetpacks. Well, if we all get, we're gonna. If we all get, we're all gonna have fun. Eliminate scrolls. You know, Josh. You guys, I feel like. You know, I never mind. I don't want to say anything. Holy shit balls! Oh, hey. massive Damn. explosion! What the fuck? Could these graphics look any better? Does this game look more like Destiny? Jesus. This looks better than Destiny! I know! <laughs> and, it was, and honestly, I and honestly, this is like... Sad to say, the, de the environment looks more detailed than Destiny ever had theirs. This already blows Everything Destiny 2 out of the water. This looks more detailed, and it's running so smoothly. This blows Destiny 2 out of the water. Come on. He's on good. Holy fuck, those explosions. Oh, nice. That weapon that was just used... Falls missiles. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Shaper ...and pull you off the beaten path with the promise of new stars to discover. Oh, shipper starman coming. Okay, actually, let's get some more people. Ah, oh, dude. What the Whoa. fuck was that earthquake? Hey, what's happening? Squad assembled. Sandra! Kim! It's getting stormy. Run, guys, run! Look up for those hippo things. <laughs> Gosh, dude. So what are we supposed to do? Fly into it? Holy shit. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Uh this might be my most anticipated game of E3. Make a uh top ten. Our story is out there. Right. Holy what fuck! What the fuck are they doing? That was so fucking sick. That looked badass. I'm coming for you. How long does this go to? I don't know, I think it might be a two hour conference. Alright. Well, they, like they, they did say that they were gonna close this up on something. <laughs> oh, wait. They were talking about, like, Anthem or whatever. Alright, here's a montage of all the games. You should just make a, uh, top 10 on, like, all the games that were featured. There's too many. <laughs> exactly. What the fuck was that? A dino? It's in fucking cybernetic shit. Feel the true power. Damn. Microsoft, you're doing pretty good. You are doing pretty good. You might oh, yeah. redeem yourself this year. Welcome back to IGN Live at E3 2017. Microsoft just wrapped up their press conference and we have a lot to discuss. <laughs> like Alright, let me know when uh, it goes back to the people talking. Because I think we should talk a little bit about the conference. Because now it's just going well, back to the... Back, well, they're at a desk right now, so... Yeah, that's, that's the end of it. They just said that's the end of the 
concert or not concert conference. conference. <laughs> that was really fucking good. So Microsoft oh, yeah. E3 2017. Let's see here. So E3 2017. I'm trying to find... Can you guys try to find a list of games that were announced at this conference? I'm trying to find a list. Well, it might not be out yet, but... Yeah, I, I wouldn't anticipate a list like that would be out yet. You like an hour. No, I kind of I kind of already found that. one. Okay, so we've got here. I'll send you guys the link real quick. So we've got uh, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. We've got uh, new Minecraft uh, expansion. We've got Ori and the Blind Forest, Shadow of War. Um, I am so so damn happy that they're adding original Xbox games for backwards compatibility. That was a huge yeah. announcement. Very good job. Oh, yeah, big time. Um, Life is Strange sequel, which uh, Logan's hyped for. Prequel. 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 I'm, I noticed that. I'm hyped for, I'm hyped for uh, the new Metro game. Yeah, the new Metro, Metro Exodus, uh, Sea yeah. of Thieves, which I might check out, uh, Crackdown 3, which I'll probably get, uh, Cuphead, Super Lucky's Tale, don't care much, <laughs> um, Town of Light, Tekken Funky 7. Fun. Um, yeah, you, we had Assassin's Creed Origins. Yeah. Um. That I'm actually interested. I I already know I already know what your guy's answer is going to be, but I'll just ask anyway. What was the game that impressed you the most? Uh, well, as you said, you already know my answer, but I'll say it anyways. Uh, Metro Exodus, because. Oh really? Because I, I mean. Well, I played. Well, the only Metro game that I played was Last Light, but I thoroughly enjoyed that game. It had, it had, it had great story, awesome gameplay. It, the monsters were epic. The weapons and the customization of the weapons were great. Honestly, and it and for its time, it was actually not. It, its graphics weren't so bad, but this mm. game looks like it just blow. But this game's obvious. But this game looks like it's just gonna blow Last Light out of the water. Oh yeah, just the way it looked, the way it played. Being... Graphic. Graphically advanced, friggin' there's more. There's much more stuff to it, obviously. Combat and looks obviously improved. Gonna a, and we're obviously going to be playing as a new character because of what happened to the main character in the in the last game. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, spoiler alert. Yeah. Thanks oh, that's for cool. For half of them. Uh, what about you, Logan? What's your most anticipated? Um. It has to be Life is Strange. I fucking. I'm sure you were gonna say Anthem, <laughs> just a mess. Well, that that too, from what we saw it um, during that little thing at, for E3, for their conference. That actually, I'm pretty that. sure Anthem is probably Josh's most anticipated. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, it is, and the reason why is it's not just because it's just not just because it looks cool, but it's unique but familiar. You know what I mean? It's yeah. they, it's a brand new IP, so it's pretty different from other games we've played these last few years. But it's familiar, but it's new. I mean, the jetpack gameplay, the combat looks like Mass Effect Andromeda, which I've always told people, hate on Andromeda all you want, but the combat was solid in that game. I love the combat in Andromeda, which and it looks like they're having. The fact, some of the familiarity comes from the fact that by now... A lot of us, by now, pretty much all of us gamers have got to be familiar with stuff in video games that looks all futuristic. That's futuristic, you know, like stuff that we don't have yeah. in real life. I like, think <clears throat> those exos, like those exosuits, you, you'd be familiar with that because of games like Destiny or or Halo. Because we don't <clears> have, <throat> those, they have like suits of power armor themselves, and we don't have that in real life. Yeah, I don't. I don't yeah, because I mean, like, just. The gameplay just like really fluent, you know what I mean? Um, oh, yeah, like everything cool. blended together well. Um, like I said, the combat was great. The game looked fucking gorgeous. Um, and also those creatures, those creatures looked mean as all hell. They look like they, you don't want to mess with them uh, without being ready. I imagine there's probably going to be some kind of RPG elements put it into it, which will be epic. 
Um, I want to see how the story plays out. Like, is there going to be a dialogue wheel? Is there not going to be? Is there going to be alternate paths for you to play? Stuff like that. Um, is it free roam or is it kind of like Mass Effect where you can go to any world that you want to and each world is like its own little space? I think it's probably going to be like how Mass Effect and Drama and how Dragon Age Inquisition did it. Where you have all these different maps but they're all different and unique. You know, they're probably going to do something like that where you can like go around and explore them. Yeah. Because, I mean, if you're able to fly around in a jetpack like that, I'm pretty sure they That's want you to explore. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, but that gets me all the more back hype. Back what I was saying. What I was saying. Uh, yeah. Anthem looks fucking amazing. The yeah. graphics look amazing at the end with that Shaper Storm. looked fucking amazing. The rain Sunlight. and shit? Yeah. Yeah. That little thing that they flew into. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was like, what the fuck were they... I was literally saying, what the fuck were they doing? If I get to that point, I'm just gonna stand there at the edge and look at it. Because it looks so good. <laughs> it looks fucking badass. But, yeah, you'll just hold every... Yeah, you'll just hold up... You'll just hold everybody up just to look at that. Yeah. <laughs> like, wait, guys, wait. Go on. But then, again, but then again, just... But then again, you'll probably just have to pray that, they, that they're also... They're also new to the game and that they also just got the game and they'll be like, oh, I'm gonna stand here with you. Yeah. Would you, uh, so what, what makes you hyped for, uh, Life is Strange 2? Because I, w I loved, um, uh, Life is Strange. I fucking, I loved the mechanic system in that and the whole butterfly effect thing. And how, if, like, if you made one decision, you could actually go back and change it if you didn't like it. And, and what do you guys think of, uh, Origins, Assassin's Creed Origins? I've, I can't fucking wait. Well... I don't know why I'm starting off with this, but for one thing, I think it's... Uh, but for one thing, well, the assassin you play as, he sounds more menacing than any other assassin you've ever played as. And, like, he just sounds like... Like, he sounds like he's always willing and is always ready and willing to kick ass. And he... Dude, he sounds like he could just terrify somebody just by just talking. <laughs> the, the stuff, the combat looked great. The combat was great. And... The new moves and everything, the the weapons looked absolutely awesome. The environment was gorgeous. Oh yeah. And you and you even get these and you even you even get to do like a slow mo like before guns were ever invented, sharpshooter thing with a bow. You just and he's and lagging. He's robot. Jump okay, out of a tree, you just shoot like the like the falcon or whatever, whatever that bird was. You can use that as pretty much like a, yeah, just scout out the area with that. They they've never had that in the other games, so I think that is a great addition. Actually, I think it's an outright excellent addition. It's something that was probably needed. Yeah, definitely. They were got, They had to put something like that into a into a video game like Assassin's Creed sooner or later. Hmm. Yeah. Overall, I thought it was. Really cool how they're implementing uh, RPG elements. How the game looks better. The combat and parkour kind of reminds me of Syndicate, which Speaking is good. Speaking of the game, they're doing it right now. Now that I'm thinking about it, that, that was voice crack. Fuck. <laughs> 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 yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, this uh, Assassin's Creed Origins, within the name itself, it pr probably gonna tell you like how the Assassins were created and how the Templars were. Yeah. And yeah. uh, what the apple could be. Yeah, what it goes the that apple far. That's that's actually. And then they have like. Yeah, that's the, the thing. The... We never did. We never really did learn what the apple of Eden, what the apple of Eden was all about, did they're, we? They're probably going to explore more of that too, because if you remember in the first Assassin's Creed game, at the ending, spoiler or I mean, if you haven't played the game by now, then what the hell? It's ten years old. But at the <laughs> end of the the first Assassin's Creed game, like the very last part before the credits where you go into eagle vision you see the blood marks everywhere and if you notice there was like pyramids everywhere so it's mo and the fact that this game is called assassin's creed origins i was speaking to watch the gameplay is up on my screen right now it's probably going to be exploring the origins about the apple of eden how it was found by humanity and stuff like that i think yeah. that's probably why it's called Origins and hell, maybe this is one of the first actual assassins. I mean, this is called Assassin's Creed Origins. Maybe this is telling the story of some of the first assassins that were ever 
<laughs> yeah, the assassins. Yeah, the assassins that came before people like Altair. Yeah. I know. I know this should never be brought up ever again, but in the movie, the shitty movie that got made recently, well, I haven't seen it. Spoiler: It's shit. <laughs> it is. Not much of a yeah. spoiler alert, but what are you gonna no. say? But in the movie, this might be a spoiler. But they say like, I got told that the Apple Eden holds the key to world peace. I guess. And how we could stop wars and shit, and there's just a constant battle between the Sabbath and the Templars. So it could pretty much just pull that and say, "Hey, this could st- this could bring world peace. We couldn't. We could just stop fighting. We could all like each other." But yeah, yeah but the irony of it all. Yeah, but the irony of it all is the Apple of Eden is exactly what the Assassins and Templars are fighting over. Exactly. And then they, 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 they also had... Uh, dom- the Templars want world domination, whereas the Assassins, they want to save the world. The, yeah, and, and also, they had, like, this montage of other games. They were showing, they had, like, ten-second clips of all these games being shown. Um, there were some that looked really cool, but I, for the life of me, cannot remember what they were called. Yeah, there were quite a few. I was like, oh, that looks cool! Oh, but I forgot the name. So I need to, like, figure out what those are called and keep an eye on them. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below on uh, what your most anticipated game is. Mine's Anthem, Logan's is uh, the next Life of a Strange game, and then Justice is most anticipated is uh, the new Metro. Um, but yeah, I think we can all agree all these games look epic. <laughs> oh yeah, big yeah. time. Well, most of them announced. A lot of the child games I don't really care for. Well, yeah, the child, <laughs> well, yeah, the childish ones, the child, the childish ones can fuck off. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah. say that. If you like those types of games, then awesome, but not for me. Well, but, yeah. But still, I'm I'm if interested you like to go for it. I mean, no offense to you. Yeah. Happy yeah. Lucky's Tale. So, it's just it's just our, <laughs> personal, just our personal opinion on yeah. on them. We're yeah. not trying to push anything on you. Well, I'm so interested feel, to see what your guys' most like you, I, anticipated games is, are. This is. I feel like you'd be the one who plays Happy Happy Lucky's Tale. If it was rated M, I'd probably play it. <laughs> like Conker's Bad Fur Day was. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, lucky. Which hey, reminds me, freaking Conker's Bad Fur Day it was violent as all hell. Hey, just think. This is. Hey, just think. This could be Conker's son, and it's the son's dream. <laughs> I seriously he, have. I seriously he's a, doubt that. He's abused outside the dream. <laughs> he's trying to think happy thoughts. People, do not listen to Logan. He is, again, the dumbass. And don't think he's offended by that. He's actually very proud of that. Aren't you? Oh, we're going to talk about this again. Okay, enough. <laughs> but, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let me know what your most anticipated games are in the comments below. If you uh, enjoyed our reaction slash commentary, uh, be sure to leave a like on this video. I apologize it was a little bit laggy during some parts. I mean, that's what happens when you live stream something, but I hope you can kind of bear with me on that. But overall, I think the stream went pretty well. Uh, well th- again, guys, thanks so much for watching. All of you are awesome. And until then, uh, I might be recording the Sony press conference. We'll see how it goes. I'll probably just do the highlights. But All right, guys, thanks again. And as always, be sure to subscribe. Yeah! Yay! Shut up, Louie.